The project was started six years ago with five and a quarter million pounds. It was spent on one mile of track and a vehicle powered by a linear electric motor that floats on a magnetic field and a cushion of air. Today it reached 104 miles an hour. The aerospace minister had sent the MP, Michael McNair Wilson, to watch the test run. Will this be the last? I don't think it will be. By what I've seen this morning, I'm very impressed by the whole system, and I cannot really believe we're going to throw away this advanced technology at this moment when it seems to me to be beginning to look like having a practical application. What applications would you suggest it has? Well, I think obviously the whole question of fast surface travel is in the melting pot. But, as you know, in the House of Commons tomorrow, we're going to be debating the Maplin Airport. We're going to need fast surface travel from Maplin to London. This is the sort of system that I think we've got to study very carefully for that sort of application. So you, you see every reason that uh, the high-speed hover train might yet be saved? I do indeed, and I think British Rail will find an application for it, and I would suspect they will be the very first people to be interested in, in this organisation. The design is years ahead of its rivals. Ultimately, it could travel at 300 miles an hour. The secret is the revolutionary motor, the most successful byproduct of the whole project. Its designer is Professor Lathwaite, who's now developed an even more advanced power unit. He explains how it works. This is a linear motor, and that's just a fancy name for a row of electromagnets. This is a sheet of aluminium. When I put it on the motor and switch on the magnet, something pretty dramatic occurs. I try and put it back now. You see, I can hold it with finger and thumb because it tries to float. But it isn't stable sideways. If I get it a bit off centre, it tends to fly off. Let it go, and there you have propulsion without physical contact. In practice, the metal plate is the track. And even without the air cushion, the train could still be suspended above the track. First of all, it will levitate or support an aluminium plate. It will guide it this time sideways, and it will also propel it along. This demonstrates the potential of an automatic high-speed train. The British Rail are not that interested. They are committed to their own advanced passenger train and say it would be too expensive to scrap their present track and rolling stock for the hover train. The development team say that with extra cash they can look even further ahead. But although the government are interested in the technology of the hover train, it is said they may find it difficult to justify another four million pounds for a project that has no immediate domestic customer. Keith Hatfield, News at 10, Eris in Huntingdonshire.